Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 29th of 2022 well, it is titled LDN 673, Dark Clouds in Aquila. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an example of a dark nebula known by the catalog designation of LDN 673. And this will be a region that goes through part of our Milky Way galaxy. And we can see when we look around the dark or denser areas that there are lots and lots of stars there. And that's because we're looking in the plane of our galaxy where far more stars are going to be visible because there is a higher concentration in the disk of our galaxy. Now when we look at the darker regions, it's not an absence of stars, but actually the presence of excess dust. So it's not that there's no stars there, we simply cannot see them because there is too much material in between us and those stars for them to be visible. Could we remove the dust, those dark areas would look just like the rest of the sky filled with stars. These are actually darker, denser areas, which are regions of star formation. So we're forming stars here and we can see in some of those darker, denser regions would be where the stars are just beginning to form. And we form what is called a protostar, which is just the beginnings of a star as it collapses and condenses down, but before it begins producing its own energy. So once it is able to produce its own energy through nuclear fusion, it becomes a star and it starts to clear away that material around it emerging out of its cocoon to be a full fledged star. And it will then eat away at the remaining material that is present there. But we can also see within this some other signs of star formation, which are a couple of the uh, different regions. One of those is some of the is one of the uh, Herbig Aro objects that is present here, which are associated with very young stars and very recent star formation. Now the Herbig Aro object is down towards the lower portion of the image and looks a little almost like a warped and distorted area a little bit to the right of center and down towards the bottom. And this is an example of outflows from a star jets of material that are expelled outward as the star finishes forming. And as they crash into other material, they energize it and cause it to glow. So the Herbig Aro object is not the star itself, but is caused by the jets from the star that impact material left over from its formation around there. So when we see these, they are also one of those other signs of star formation that we see. So that was our picture of the day for October 29th of 2022. It was titled LDN 673 Dark Clouds in Aquila. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.